Hello, hello. So today we're going to do EX Rungnir. Um, first up in my team is going to be Dragon Girl Newt. Better stay away from her in November. Um, next is going to be Lumiere. Third is Rayjo, which recently got a buff. These flame hairpins and the other one that you can get the necklace from Magni are really good. And fourth is going to be, again, Eforn Raspy. Which is going to be used a lot lately in these EX fights for me. And last is going to be Fully Awakened Final Weapon Ultima. So... There we go, and let's get to the fight. Alrighty, so um, Awakened Hrungnir is in the melee row, is Yotun, and is considered to be grounded. Um, his action skill, Avalanche, does 120% earth attack damage and paralyzed for three turns to the nearest enemy row. Paralyze effect applies only to Aesir, humans, elves, and beasts. Um, the auto skill does earth attack damage and stone chain for three turns and earth wound for two turns to all heroes in the connect battle. Stone chain applies to Aesir, elves, and beasts and earth wound hits everybody and it also ignores barriers. And also gives you abyss haze leaf. So the most effective element is going to be fire, but you, um, I mean, water, light, and dark are also in there, but you don't want to use those because they're going to get counterattacked. So that's the thing with all these, um, EX fights is you're going to only want to use the element that they're weak to. I know I didn't say that in the other videos, but that's, that's really what it is. So if anything but fire is going to be, say in this one is going to be bounced back and, Fenrir or anything, but Earth is going to be counterattacked, and you know, and so on. So, make sure and keep that in mind. And so the some of the the, the leaf armor does powerful Earth attack damage to the nearest enemy, and um, defense and magic defense thirty percent up for three turns to all of its allies, and. Attack and magic attack barrier for two turns to Hrungnir and the farthest back ally. So the barrier is only up on the second and third HP bar and he ignores barriers too. And as for the hawk, it does light, I mean not light, what am I talking about? Attack and magic attack 30% down to all heroes in the connect battle. It also does win prison for three turns to three ally, three enemies with the highest attack. So keep in mind that your enemies with the highest attack are going to get win prison. So it's going to be Newt, Raspy, and possibly Rajo for me. And win prison hits everybody, and Stone Skin is only available on the third HP bar. So some other heroes you can use are going to be. Gatherer Aldra, um, Ines, Awaken Moggy, of course Orticia, Genos, uh, Griffin. Rita actually works pretty well because she recently got a buff and has Fire Ring now. And yep, that's going to be about it. So, like I was saying earlier, with the elements... Um, Probably wasn't too clear in the other videos, but definitely don't use anything that's not the element that is a that the EX is weak to. So like, always hit Hrungnir with fire. If you hit him with anything but fire and non-elemental damage, it should be counterattacked. Um. And this third HP bar is a little bit difficult compared to the other ones because you really have to get rid of them. Rid of the back two first due to the buffs and all the other stuff. And yeah. 
So this was probably at the time when it came out really hard for me, even with Rayjo. They um, recently buffed Rayjo. So it's really nice, really nice. Get rid of this Hawk here. And then wait for that shield to go down up there, and then you should be able to do a lot more damage to Harungnir. Going to be down to the wire here. But I don't think it's going to end in a timeout. Well, of course I wouldn't upload it if it did. Alright, there we go, there we go. See, once you knock down all the barriers and whatever it is that he has, he goes down pretty fast. Alright, so Rejo did the most damage, and thank you for watching.